Welcome back to Black Star Dove. Welcome back to my channel. As always, I do need that HBO special, which means help a brother out trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. Go ahead and click that like button. Click the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Let's just go right into it. Are you as tired of as I am of all these skits? Like, it started, I believe it started last year with the whole McDonald's skit, how someone, a father, only bought McDonald's for his, for his child, but the woman had multiple children, but he only had one. So he bought McDonald's just for the one. That was a whole skit. And that got everybody up in arms. Do you feed, do you feed your child or do you feed all the children? <laughs> Excuse me. There is no right or wrong answer to that. It all just depends on the man, it depends on the finances, it depends on the circumstances. Sometimes, hey, I just got enough to feed my one. Sometimes, hey, I can take care of all of them. It all just depends. Um, then we got more recently, we have just like a whole lot of fake stuff. We have, um, what's her name, Carly Russell, the girl who, the, the woman who kidnapped her own, who faked her kidnapping. <laughs> Because I believe her boyfriend broke up with her and that was like a whole thing. And then we had the, another skit about the Cheesecake Factory. Remember how the woman said she was too good for the Cheesecake Factory? That whole thing was a skit. <laughs> it's like, there's like, there's, there's so many more that I'm just missing. I'm like, it's always something to try to promote a man versus woman gender war. That war only exists online. Anyone who's ever been outside for more than five minutes can tell you <laughs> that war only exists online. Um, not saying that that there's not some truth, and um, there's not a lot of truth that is put into those skits. But this whole thing where we just have this massive war between black men and black women is completely not true. And like I said, if you go outside for for about five minutes, you can see that for yourself. Like, I don't know, these skits, they're like, they're almost like fear mongering for both, for both black men and black women. Because like we've seen these skits bring out the worst in all of us. All of a sudden for this past week, I've seen a whole bunch of lists about what's acceptable for a day, what's acceptable not for a day, and all this stuff. I did a video a long time ago saying, asking is a coffee day a good first day? And I said, it all just depends on what type of woman that you're trying to pursue. You know the woman that you're trying to pursue. You know the value of that woman. Of course, that woman has her own value as well. You will hope that y'all are on an even playing field. That way, your value and her value meets. Uh, if she says that she values herself more than what you value your, her at, either you will have to step up your value or just say, hey, peace, and leave her, let her be. Vice versa. It all works the same. We have this thing where if you, have, if you like somebody the slightest bit, you have to make it work. You don't always have to make it work. People have differences. This is where compromising comes in. That's a whole nother other video. My whole point being with this video is that these skits are making us as a people look bad. Like both black men and black women. We're sitting here, we're laughing at each other, we're picking these fights. We're going on all types of tangents about lists. Like I seen a man put out a list about women not to date and all that stuff. It was just, it's a whole bunch of nothing. The war doesn't really exist. It really exists online because in real life, you know what you qualify for. Every man knows what type of woman he qualifies for in real life. Now, of course, you can always shoot up a little bit higher because the numbers are in your favor because women outnumber us and things of that nature, uh, especially if you're like an educated man or things like that, got something going on for you, you can shoot up like one to two levels higher than what you qualify for because there's not enough men. So she might have to come down a little bit. That's just a realistic expectation. But every man knows what he qualifies for. Every man knows what his pockets will allow. Every man knows what it is that he can and cannot do especially with the type of woman that he's trying to pursue. So this whole thing about the war, it doesn't really exist because, it does exist, it, like, 
there is elements of it that does exist. Every once in a while, you shoot for something that you damn sure know that you don't qualify for, and then that shit just blows up in your face. That's for both men and women. <laughs> and then we have seen examples of that. <laughs> and that's that's not too pretty. Um, the whole point being is that we're tired. You're tired. I'm tired. We can come together and we can say that co collectively. Let's stop with the skits. Let's stop with the bullshit. Let's stop with making each other look bad because we're all looking bad. And let's either A, agree to disagree or B, find a solution for our problems. Either way, it is just that simple. Take care. I love you. Peace.